We're here to learn our destiny. When we yes. come to the village, we sort of try to be open to the you, whims of the world. And you today, get what you get and you don't get upset. That's what we always say. That we know. We had a spiriting conversation about a cart and what is and is not a cart on the way here. Well, it's interesting you should say that for... We have a gift for you. Let us arrange the bones of the freshly caught salmon and trout to design what the gift shall be, dear sister. As we gather around the stone bowl and watch the shape the bones may take. And as we sort of simmer it for a while and just sort of let the flavor of the bones seep in. We throw smells, in some oregano. It smells really good. We're making soup. That's right. With this soup, you know what we've always missed is just like a good side, something to put right next to it. Should yeah. we be hungrier? Oh, friends, give him would you like this um, coleslaw? Coleslaw would be just the it's thing. It's like a light cabbage salad. Now, for this particular incantation of soup, we need a song sung by a creature from far away. Oh, we have a bird. Just like a bird. No, it's a macaw. Oh, perfect thing the perfect to have. bird! The perfect bird! The perfect thing to have. And the last thing we need for our soupy incantation is is some sort of a dairy delicacy, but not like a, a normal one you're familiar with, like like a Swiss cheese or <gasps> like a something to melt over the top like a French onion soup, or is that not right? All we have is burrata. Oh the perfect <laughs> cheese! The perfect cheese! With these ingredients, three, we shall reveal your destiny. Cackle, cackle, cackle bait, bait and tackle. Barata, flip, and macaw, squackle. <laughs> Can you make the macaw squackle? Oh, sorry, I'll tickle it a little bit. <laughs> Did it got it in one? Coleslaw, <laughs> coleslaw. Coleslaw, coleslaw. The bones, the bones in the soup, they're forming a shape. Papa, a- I think I know this shape. Oh no, Frederick, Papa. It's a cart. And it's a traditional cart. A standard cart. Pulled by a horse. I, I hate it. I wish I could destroy it, but it's not here. Just a shape of it is here. Frederick said he would set it aflame. But, this but, but cart sisters, is in your destiny. But what does it mean? We don't want a cart. You get what you get. And, and you, you don't, don't get, get upset. upset. But I am upset, Papa. I am upset. I'm upset too. I wish we never came into this tent. I wish the tent flap was closed forever and they were always fishing. Do not be confused. This is just a sign. Your destiny will take some time to unwind. What does it mean? You think it's clear from the start, but you have no idea what it means to find a cart. You'll have to wait as the road meets your feet. You cannot rush the ticking hands of your destiny. Spin, spin, spin around. Wait for the wheel. This is the hand that you've been dealt. You can't get a new deal. Oh, I might give you some news, and it could have you feeling. Like it or not, a cart is coming for you. A cart is coming for you. What will you do? What will you do? A cart is coming for you. What will you do? What can go even more fast. Will you run? Will you hide? Will you try to t- make yourself off course? Is that what you'll do? Sorry, but you can't unrock this horse. A car is coming for you. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? 
this family has been revealed that the thing they most feared is now in their destiny. Will they embrace it? Will they run from it? Find out in the second half of The Village. The Village. The musical. We'll be right back. Yeah. 